Satellite images of Bucha that made headlines following an analysis published by the New York Times were taken by a key contractor for the U.S. Defense Department. The photos have been used by some as proof to back Kiev's accusations that Russian troops killed civilians in the town, something Russia denies. Similar satellite footage has previously been used by U.S. officials to shape the media narrative, as Rachel Blevins explains. As the U.S. and its Western allies prepare new sanctions against Russia over Ukraine's claims of civilian deaths in Bucha, despite the lack of an independent investigation, all mainstream outlets like the New York Times have now turned to reported satellite images as their latest source of evidence. The Times pointed to images released by Maxar Technologies, who stated that there were bodies in the streets of Bucha for up to three weeks before Russian forces withdrew from the city and that they were in the exact same locations when Ukrainian forces arrived. So what do we know about the company behind the images? We know that Maxar Technologies is known for having over $100 million in intelligence and defense contracts and that one of its top customers is the United States Department of Defense. Maxar enables the U.S. Department of Defense and its allies to better monitor, understand and respond to global events, deter threats and ensure global security. Together, the many elements of Maxar can help the DoD meet its far-reaching modernization goals, maintain decision advantage, and rapidly identify and predict change. One of the main investors in Maxar is BlackRock Incorporated, the largest investment management firm on Wall Street, and three of its former executives are now top members of President Joe Biden's cabinet. And three of its former executives are now top members of President Joe Biden's cabinet. And three of its former executives are now top members of President Joe Biden's cabinet. As for the intelligence provided by Maxar, it's actually quite substantial. In fact, 90% of the satellite images collected by the U.S. government worldwide in the name of national security are created using Maxar's technology. As a result, their close partnership can allow for censorship on behalf of the U.S. government, similar to what we saw back in 2001 when the Department of Defense ordered another company not to send satellite images of Afghanistan to anyone but them, provoking an outcry from the media. There are First Amendment implications here. This sets a precedent for the government to buy up all of the capability of a technology that can be used for independent verification and basic reporting. So while an individual company gets the credit for the images that are being shared, what's not mentioned is the power the DOD has to control the narrative by buying exclusive rights to those photos and then controlling what is shared with the media. And they have done just that when back in 2003, the Bush administration presented satellite images as evidence of weapons of mass destruction in Iraq claiming that surely the satellites could not be wrong. Now, as for the limits imposed on a company like Maxar Technologies, well, they have pledged not to publish images showing the movement of U.S. troops deployed to other countries or to work with countries that have been sanctioned by the U.S. And while the media is once again treating those satellite images as the only evidence they need, it was just two months ago that some were warning about relying on the same technology. Commercial satellite images, as a snapshot in time, do not provide indisputable evidence of exactly what the Russian military is doing or why. However, it now seems the tide has turned once again in favor of the images produced in partnership with the U.S. government, with few coming forward to question their accuracy this time around. In Washington, Rachel Blevins, RT.